Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yes, yeah. sir. Actor, rapper, singer. Rapper? Nah, nah, He's we don't rap. rap. We don't rap. We Damn. sing right here. He just disrespect you like that because oh, you got man. on a fucking... Because you got ripped jeans on. <laughs> <laughs> you got ripped jeans and a Vans you know, hat on. He you know, think you a rapper. You know, R- R&B, you don't, gotta, you don't gotta look R&B no more. You can look how you want to. Jacob no, you, Lattimore. By the way, you yeah. never had to look a certain way in R&B. I feel like, I feel like it was a thing. Though. I was like a jacket, a glasses. like right. Jacket and glasses. You know what I mean? Like, Jodeci, bruh. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. broke the mold. Yeah, yeah, they broke the mold you have for to sure. have your shirt off at some point. At, at some point. Mm-hmm. But if you just didn't have it, I think it was cool to keep the shirt <laughs> on. <laughs> Jacob Lattimore is here, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? What's going on? Now, Good you put to see out, y'all. You put out Connections too. Yeah. Now you waited two years. Are you, were you waiting for the new season of The Shy? What took so long? No, no, no. I was um, honestly, it was just a, a point where I, I really filmed for like eight months mm-hmm. last year. I filmed The Shy for four months. I filmed the independent film that just uh, screened at Gully. Um, thank you. Uh, film festival for about a for about a month, and then I filmed a, a movie called The Last Summer that's coming out this Friday on Netflix. So it was like I was filming just way too much, and I, I'm, I'm the type of artist where I want to put out music and be able to like, you know, hit the road and and really do real promo for it, not just throw it online and have it live online. Because I I want to make great music, you know what I mean? And seeing the fans react to, you know, the, the music I really been working hard on for the past year and a half is uh really really dope. So I'm at SOBs. What's what's today? Uh, first, okay, the first. You know, what I mean, on the second, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited to just get back in front of my fans that's been watching me since I was like nine years. Now old. I have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, oh what boy. Happened? Let's talk about this video. Which one? With you and Trevor. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. What so, video are you? So it's true him shit. and Trevor. Yes, yeah, true shit. And basically, y'all are, have these girls. You guys are both in relationships with these mm-hmm. two women. Right. And I guess they don't trust y'all. Mm-hmm. At least shouldn't. Two young hoes running the streets of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> right? And they're accusing you guys of things and they're trying to poison you and yeah, do different things. Yeah, trying to things. do some harmful stuff to But us, then yeah. at the end, they're crazy. Yeah, yeah. Now, is there a reason why these women don't trust you? Are you guys just supposedly um, upstanding young, not I mean, men? I guess people can kind of create their own backstory. I think for us, it was just like, you know, I think f- for me in particular, why I made the album and just like the the the, the contents, you know, that really surround like that video and the song was just because I've dealt with crazy women. Mm-hmm. So I just like, I just how I was feeling. You know, I, I know that sometimes doing that, like you are in a room full of women and mm-hmm. you got fans that are mostly women, they're like, oh, no, I don't like that. But it's just like, that's just how, I, that's what I went through. I was just being honest now about have, that. Was any of it your fault, though? Because sometimes, sometimes, guy's, sometimes fault. Could, guys be like, oh, no, no, she's no. crazy, always. but it's really no, no. your fault. I'll definitely take fault. I'll definitely take fault. So you made it crazy. Like, yeah, I can, I can, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So when you say crazy, what, what, like, what's crazy, crazy? Like, fuck him and then leaving? That's what y'all be doing. You know what I mean? Like, Not taking them as serious like as spiteful, they take you? Just spiteful stuff. Just like, spiteful stuff. Like what? Stuff. Uh, you know, probably messing with the homie or something, or like trying to just do little stuff to just like trying to fuck her friend. Who me? Yeah. No, 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 no. She. Oh. You know, like spiteful stuff, mm-hmm. like real hurtful. Like I'm, I'm too heartbroken, and like I, I'll, I'll do anything to make you mad. Right. Thing. You don't, you attention. don't think you do anything to make a woman crazy? I don't, I don't, I don't. I think I do. Like I, what? I think what? I'm, let's talk about let's let's take responsibility now. Absolutely, self accountability. Let's, yeah, let's talk about it. Right. So, let's what are the things that you've done that might have made a woman quote crazy? Unprotected um, sex, cheated, cheated for sure. Mm-hmm. Cheated, um, messing with other girls, That's flirting cheating. with other flirting <laughs> with other women. <laughs> That's cheating. Don't don't de- sure. don't take don't deny hitting it raw. Hitting no, 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 no. You're getting confused with Emmett. We always trapped up. We always trapped up. No, we. I'm only raw. Let me say this. I'm only raw with like the person I'm with. Okay. Okay. I'm with. At that moment. Then, okay. So when you sleeping <laughs> with other girls, right? Just random women when you on tour enjoying your life. No, no, I ain't known that no more. Let's let's put that out there. When I did that, that stop? No more. Last year. <laughs> no, that stopped like a, a while ago. ago. Okay. You're getting confused ago. with his character on the shy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not Emmett. I'm not Emmett. I'm not <laughs> Emmett. I'm not Emmett. I see you got in shape though. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did, man. Like honestly, I saw myself like the first season. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I was just like, ah, I was eating a lot, you know, and it's hard, it's hard eating on set, eating healthy, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. because you, all you got is crafty, them late night shoots, ain't nothing but cookies and, you know, just like, just bad stuff to eat, so I was just like, you know, let me get in shape, I've been with my uh, trainer, J-Rock in Atlanta, I was working with a guy named Hector in Chicago as well, just like boxing, calisthenics, and like, really just trying to feel better about myself, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, it was, uh, it wasn't nothing I was like really getting in shape for. 
you know, a lot of people thought I was getting in shape for like a roll or something, but it was really just like self confidence. Maybe y'all need healthier options coming from the food trucks. Maybe y'all should eat from the you know, soul food. And, taco and sometimes truck all we the time. do, we do have. It's just like when it's next to the bad stuff, it's like, of course you're gonna choose the bad stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, the sugar. <laughs> So you don't eat out random girls on tour is what you tell them. Because <laughs> that would make them crazy too, you know, Jay. Nah, nah, I don't do that. No, no, no. We we, we stay home. We stay home. And you and know his bro- mom is in here, right? No, she not. Yes, oh, she my, my bad. Hey. I ain't even hey, hey, was hey. Ah! I just oh, wanted to point that out. Only saw I ain't see her in the car. <laughs> 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 she just walked in. That's oh, my, my bad. Just nah, nah, nah. Just I'm just making sure he being good on the road. That's nah, all. Nah, nah. I'm going to the whole time. You know, I'm, I'm 22. I've done a lot in my in my in my short in my short life. I've I've, I've matured. Mama, have you ever caught him? No, we already talked about that. All right, just make you sure. never caught me. All right. Oh, no. congrats on the shot getting renewed for season three. Hey, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you. We uh we excited, man. This is um. I feel like the shot going to be on for a long time. I enjoy yeah, it. You I guys thoroughly have some enjoy great it. It's going to be on going. for a long time. Like, you know, I think the from the from the love of the first season, mm-hmm. we were just like, man, we're going to be here for a minute. You know what I mean? I think we were all a little terrified this time around cuz Game of Thrones is just whooping ass every week. Game of we Thrones just like, amazing. "Oh my god." <laughs> you know come I mean? on an hour after Game of Thrones. No, we come on the same hour, I think. No, nah, Game of Thrones out. comes on at 9, right? Yeah, I don't comes on at 9. I don't Yeah, come on. I would tell you this hour. though. I watched the shy earlier in the day always on demand. Is yeah, that yeah. bad? No, no. I, I think That's it's okay? just the way just the way like you know, taking in stuff. Now you don't really you don't really want to wait. If you if you can get it but sometimes possible. I want to go to bed early. I'm like, I don't want to have to say Absolutely. it because I want to watch the shot. So I, every episode I've been watching it earlier in the day. Right. Or sometimes that Saturday night when it hit the hit the stream inside, mm-hmm. you like, I'm about to watch it right now. You know so how do you feel about your character this season? Are you you're getting? I don't know if you're more responsible or not. Hell no, you bum ass nigga. I mean, you you burn down. The, <laughs> no, I feel like <laughs> you're no, trying a little. I feel like I, I think the effort is a uh, is a. Uh, I'm I'm trying a whole lot more now, but I don't, I feel like he's definitely. Um, trying to find that guidance you know what i mean i think him meeting his father was a uh, a little uh, very powerful to see on camera yes. because he's like an older version of really doing it you know what i'm saying really got the different baby mamas really got the different kids and like really just like taking care of mm-hmm. his situation so um i just think he just got to see an example it was interesting because he did say your your father said to you that your mom treated well said to your mom that she treated you like you were her husband and yeah. I didn't really get that. Did you think that she treated him like? Um, I feel like it was more so like a. She was just wh- spoiled. It's just spoiled. Yeah, I would say it was just more spoiled and like just sort of letting me do what I wanted to do and 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 saying that keep saying I'm going I'm going to you know kick you out or whatever and just never doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think it when you like a kid just sort of starts doing the same things over and over when you keep showing him the same thing. So she really had to buckle down and- um, Kick him out. Kick him out I and put him bad. out on the street. That, that usually crazy. is what makes per- a person a man though. When you throw him out there and you yeah. force him to either sink or swim. Yeah, like, you know, him being out there on his own, I think um, he's obviously definitely making mistakes because he is young, <clears throat> uh, but um, it, it's fun to watch, to be honest. Mm-hmm. He's just always watch. begging. I'm two episodes behind, right, on this season. Uh-huh. But he's always begging. He's begging somebody to for a place to stay, and he's begging to run the restaurant. Like, yeah, he's like begging. I'm just trying. I'm trying to get it. I'm but just like, give me through the door. He's hustling. Give me through the door. Yeah, he's this is next episode hair. gonna be funny. I selling can't hair is a good hustle. Selling sneakers and you selling. He's trying hair. to get it. He know he know women. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Have you learned anything from your character, Emmett, in uh, real life? Um. Nah, I just <laughs> not really. I just you know, I feel like you know I just uh, I don't know. It's 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 just a, a role I feel like I can I can have fun with and sort of be reckless with. Like uh, you know, it's like it's a, a character I didn't. It's, that's not my reality. You know what I'm saying? So I'm able to really like just have fun with it and be crazy on screen. How many kids you gonna have now? Me in real life? No, no, no. He was oh. like, slow down. <laughs> um. <laughs> I was gonna say in real life, I I, I actually do want a few, but um, take the condom off. <laughs> Sorry, mom. And, 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 <laughs> and me, we actually in, later in the season, we, I I I kind of get it. So we we'll meet the other baby mama. Okay, we'll meet the other baby mama. I, so. I I did like the scene where you uh where, where you got mad at your father because he was showing love to all his other kids. Yeah, and the reason I like that scene because you see that a lot in real life. You see yeah. young guys who got kids now, and then they realize how difficult it is because you want to be in your kids' life, but right. the baby mamas may not let them. They may be having differences. Right, right. So the you, you kind of 
had empathy for your father after he broke it down to you and why he wasn't there. Absolutely. I think it was super powerful to, to see that on camera and to see a, a, a father really ser- sort of just own up to his mistakes. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't see that a lot in the community. They're just like, you know, I was I was there. I was there, you know, I was putting money on the table, you know, boy, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. But that's not enough. Right. You know what I mean? You need that energy. You need that father figure uh, um, in a young man's life. And I think, um, you know, that's that was something I was really missing in his, mm-hmm. in his life. And I think for him as a man, it was... It was a growing, growing experience for him to really own up to it and, and say to his son, um, look, I wasn't there for you. You know what I mean? I, I thought that, you know, just putting money on the table would, would be enough, you know, and I'm sorry. And that's that alone is just powerful. You know, right. self-accountability and <clears throat> owning up to, to that is just dope to see on camera. Um, so, uh, you know, shout out to the, to the real fathers owning up to their to they mistakes. And you said you was watching the shot with your grandparents? When, when? When I, I said saw that? you tweet that. You said, I forgot to tell my grandparents what to expect on the shy. No, nah, <laughs> nah, I wasn't watching it with them. I just, yeah, you know, I know, I know they keep up. So mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh, man, I'm butt booty naked yep. on screen right <laughs> now. You do know they've seen you naked before, though. I, yeah, when I not was currently. young. No, same now I'm hanging. It's not the same difference. Now I'm hanging. <laughs> now I'm hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we didn't see all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. We didn't see all that. that. You didn't see all that. Seen it from behind. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They still judge you for that, even though they know you acting. No, I just, you know, my 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 great grandma. She, you know, she's still with me, so she'd be like, "Oh Jesus, Jacob!" And she called my mama like, "Tish, Tish, Jacob was on." You know, I was just like, "Grandma, skip to the next part." You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's funny. Now, what are you doing now? I know we talked about this last time with everybody trying to hit on your mom. Because your mom is fly. What? She's popping. And I know your what? friends. Yeah. People be trying to hit on your mom, bro? I mean, I feel like... Do you follow her on Instagram? Yeah, I, I really try nah. to stay out of the comments. But, you know, and then... What's her Instagram? Yeah. Don't give it to him. Don't give it to him. I'm not giving it to you. Don't give it to him. I'm not giving it to you. Uh, but, yeah, I, it's, it's always... That's always been like that since I was a kid, kid. You know, they be like, man, your mama... Fine. Or like, or sometimes when I walk into a building, some people would think my mom is my girl, mm-hmm. or like she like my sister or something. So they approach her that way, and I'm like, no, nah, that's my mama. They'd be like, what? You know? So it's uh, I, I seen it from the last comments in the the the, yeah, interview, she, the last interview. It was, we did, like, it was like, man, shout out to Jacob Lattimore, mama. Man. <laughs> she need to get in the camera. She need to get on the microphone. How do you react to that when somebody <laughs> says to you, man, your mama fine? I kind of just I'm I'm old and I she take it as it. I take it as a compliment. You know what I mean? So it probably know. used to make you hot though. Even when I was a little young, I was like, man, stop looking at my mama. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. you know. Do you like girls like your mom? I think uh, naturally I, I, I find, you know, sort of that similarity like in, in women. I try to look for that home feeling mm-hmm. where it's like my mom's really like a real clean freak. Like I'm a clean freak well as well, but she's like times a thousand. Mm-hmm. Does she wash her chicken? <laughs> I'm, yes, she does. Okay. Uh, she washes everything. Everything smells like pine saw and bleach. So I was like, well, if I could find that, not chicken, that no. that type of woman, that's what you're looking for. That woman, because I, 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 that's like one of the deal breakers for me. If like mm-hmm. a, how a woman treats her home mm-hmm. to I mean, me, this is her, next to godliness. It's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, so okay. I just, I, I sort of look for that. I look for so, ladies, if you smell like um, pine saw, you might have a shot. Yeah, I look. What about limo saw? <laughs> What's lemon saw? Oh, you don't know what lemon saw is? Or is that never, pine saw? You never slept with a Puerto Rican woman, have you? No. Oh, okay. I mean, yes, but <laughs> I, mean, yes. I don't know what lemon I didn't, saw I didn't is. Stay, <laughs> I don't didn't, you drum? I didn't stay around long enough to see what kind of cleaning supplies she had. Wow, you broke out? Out of there, Peace. <laughs> <Get her out. laughs> You gotta stop smashing these girls and just running off, Jacob. That's what that's 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 what stopped. That's what stopped. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. That's what causes problems. Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm real like I like to stick to one lately. Yeah. Okay. I like to stick to one. Yeah. Have you ever had a woman's mom try to holler at you? Yes. See? Okay. How, tell me how you handled that. Um You smashed. A girl I you did smashing. Not. I did not. Mom tried to holler at you. Oh no, 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 no. That's never happened. So that's we, never happened. But I, I, mom in general, like, has didn't Trevor happened. have a whole song and video about yeah, that? Yeah, Trevor did have a song. I was about uh, to say you that. Keep him away from you. Yeah, your but, mom. My <laughs> No, no. Has no, Trevor no. tried to holler at your mom? <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you sure? Mom? No, no. no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I can see not. him doing that. That's my brother. Oh, she got the Aaliyah hair swooped over one eye. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't tell, we can't tell if she's being all the way honest. <laughs> nah, that, that's my bro. Like, honestly, throughout like the industry, like, you know, you got your like friends, associates. Like, honestly, Trevor is like my real brother in this industry. Like, 
who I can call about anything, mm-hmm. literally. So um, we sort of we click like that instantly. So for us to do the true shit video and like for us to link the way we link up and like I was with them when they filmed Superfly. That's the whole reason I was in Superfly because I was never casted. Mm-hmm. I was just he was just like, bro, you want to do this video, bro? Like you want to do the scene with <laughs> me, bro? That's exactly. How I was like, dude, dude. And I was like, all right, bro, like let's get it. And then he's like, all right, let's do this quick little scene. And then they threw me in there. So you so. didn't get paid. I got paid. Oh, uh, I got paid for sure. Bro. So what about the you girl's mama who tried to holler? Um, I just, I just let it be. I was like, you know what? She just felt really dangerous to me. It mm-hmm. just, it felt like a trap. So she wasn't pretty. No, she was very. She was fine. Mm-hmm. She was fine. Like she your was mama fine. fine? Uh, what kind of? Yeah, my mama fine. Okay, I think you kind okay. of flirted with your mama. That's, that was the second. I'm not mama. a married man. I'm just asking a question. I'm just saying. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> so the mama tried to holler. The mama tried to holler. She was just giving me signals, like she was sit close to me, and then she would just look me in the eye, like you know, them long stares. How you know, old was she? Uh, she looked maybe around th- her thirties. Thirties. Mm-hmm. Um, if did you I was, consider it? Jesus I Christ, thought about it. You feel old. You know what I mean? She's old. Like you're dirty. dirty. <laughs> it's not old. It's not old. It's yeah. just you know she. I could tell. I feel like I could tell how old she was. But um, you considered it. I considered, it and I was just like, you know what? Let me be a smart man and mm-hmm. just not even get the number or nothing. Do you ask your mom about stuff like that? Like, mom, should I? Or you don't discuss. You know what? Mom. I don't. I feel like you guys open up that conversation, <laughs> mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not an easy de- decision, though, right? No, nah, no, nah, it's not. It's That's not. what I was trying to explain well, earlier. We we was having this conversation because somebody. It becomes easier when when you when you get to a, like a new level in your career and like you just you focus. I'm focused right now. If you love someone, you're not gonna sleep with their mom. But it no, would no, be no. difficult to tell mom no. Well, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> Somebody called in this morning and basically they had an issue. They got their girlfriend's mother pregnant. Oh, no. And they wanted that's, to propose to their That's girlfriend. a whole new level right yeah. there. So that's some Jerry Springer stuff right yeah, there. That's, that's a whole new but level. But that would be hard to tell mom no. Like you dating a girl, the mom tries to holler at you, you got to reject the mom. Then the mom hard? might go to the girl yeah. and be like, yeah, he tried to holler at me. Then the girl flips on you. Who do you think she's going to believe, you or your mom? Um, or her mom. So what are you saying? Just sleep with the mom? No, I'm just saying it's more be... complicated than being complicated. This this situation is just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. I, I I've never been in a situation where like, I'm dealing with a girl and then her mom is fine too, and just like I I I like got interest for her mom. Like nah. Welcome to season three of the shy. Lena Waithe wrote that. <laughs> Lena, that, that she, that, hopefully she gave you your episode. credit right there. <laughs> Now, what's up with this Netflix movie that's coming out on Friday, too? So give us some information. This is the last summer before college. Yeah, uh, this is a film where, you know, these young high schoolers, are, you know, they, they, they're they last summer, and they sort of just facing adulthood, that transition stage where they, um you know, going through breakups, friendships, um, you know, people losing their virginity for the first time, stuff like that. So I was a, it was a cool little film for me to do because I've done a lot of, big heavy dramas Detroit you know collateral beauty um, you know the shy can get heavy sometimes so I was like let me do something just outside the box and something different let me do a rom-com I just wanted to get one under my belt at least and then you know I got some really cool people KJ Apple is the lead Maya Mitchell and it's got all these different young TV stars from different TV shows coming together for one film and uh, you know when I got the offer to do it I was like man I definitely want to do it you know I just uh, wanted to and I saw it for the first time yesterday. It's actually really, really good. Some people like to run away from those teen rom-com movies, the generic, you know, last summer mm-hmm. high school film. But it's actually a really good movie. Like, it's really, like, some dope actors. Everybody is, like, really grounded. Nothing feels cheesy about it. What's so your character dope. doing in there? My character is Alec. He uh he has an asphalt company where he, like, um uh paints driveways and stuff like that. And he's going through a, a, a breakup with his girl. And uh, they're, like, trying to plan their breakup. They're trying to force their breakup before they have to split apart. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're trying to, you know, go separate ways, but they end up coming back to each other uh, because, you know, you know, they you just... They love each other. They love each other. So it's it's, 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 a, it's a heartfelt story. I'm excited to for people to see me in that light, the, little, the romantic light. And you said that's the last summer before college? No, it's called The Last Summer. The Last Summer. Uh-huh. It comes out on Netflix uh, this Friday. This Did Friday. you have those normal moments? Because you've been in the industry nah, for Nah, and that's another reason yeah. why I did the type of film, this type of film, because I was homeschooled uh, at mid- <clears throat> in, like, middle school. Wow. So I went to elementary school, and then... I was on the road. I was signed. I was doing films. Like you had a tutor. Or your mom homeschooled you. Uh, I was. I had a tutor. And you know what I mean. So it was like my lifestyle was different than just the, the average, you know, young teen. So I was like, if I can be able to play, you know, these types of roles 
on screen. It it'd be fun to sort of just like live through that. You Do you know, miss it though? You miss set. that experience, that that high school college experience? I feel like I missed out of just on just like the social part of it. I feel like a lot of I feel like high school high schoolers go through a lot mm-hmm. in in high school. You know, bullying, mm-hmm. heartbreak, um, enemies, whatever. You know what I mean? I feel like it was a a lot of that stuff. I was just uh, withhold from and just like normal jobs nine to five trying to you know just like make some money somehow you know i think um a lot of those little things are, are, are really important to your to your growth I you think. can still get the bullying experience on social media yeah yeah for sure for <laughs> sure well, what was the other reason mom homeschooled you was it all because of your career yeah it was pretty much that because honestly i moved to atlanta when i was about 11 um and then honestly i, I got to recording a whole lot uh i got signed at 13 so i was with RCA records for for about five years. I toured, you know, I put out records and did my first film at, at 12, you know, with was a film called Vanishing on 7th Street with Hayden Christensen and Tandy Newton. And then my second film with Black Nativity, Forrest Whitaker. And so it was like things were moving kind of fast, you know, so school wasn't, public school just wasn't, uh, wasn't in my cars. Really. You really believed in it, mama. Yeah, yeah. Like you just knew from the beginning? Shout out to the parents really believing in their kids, man. That's It's powerful. It's powerful. Put the camera on her, Nick. <laughs> you just knew from the beginning? He just wanted that camera. And shout out to my... <laughs> shout out... My, my pop's not here, but shout out to my pops, too. And my, I, I Come yeah. in the mic, the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Mama said, y'all just want to I did not mean to do this, but I knew 100% that he was talented. Mm-hmm. And I come from a music... I mean, the business background. I worked for Sony Music for five years doing marketing, but I mean... He had it. Mm-hmm. He had it. It was, pre- it was, it was pretty much natural. When did you first know? Mm, he was very young, just singing around the house. But when he recorded his first song, he was nine years old. Um, he recorded the first song. I sent the song to Radio Disney. They had a program called Incubator at the time, and um, they put the song in rotation and allowed him to open up for some acts that were, you know, really big at the time, like Mm -hmm. B5 and some other pop acts. And just his work ethic and seeing him, seeing the way he carried the audience on stage, like, I was like, oh, okay, this this for real. Like, you you really, really good. Y'all didn't come to the show so y'all can see. That that documentary coming to you, I I feel like it was early for me to do a documentary, but. I I don't mean to cut you off, Jacob, but I I didn't know that he can act. Because I was in the business, I saw the shift mm-hmm. of the music business, and I basically told him, even at nine, if you're going to be in this business, you need to be well-rounded, not knowing that he can act. And when he booked his first episodic, with which was One Tree Hill, I'm like, you can really act for real. Wow. <laughs> so you didn't go to no <laughs> classes or nothing like that? Um, it was, it was like, it was brief, but honestly, was- I feel like most of my most of my experiences came through really being on set and like learning in that way. Yeah. So you have yeah. a documentary. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting it together right now because I just feel like. Thank you, Mama. Are, Thank you, Mama. Thanks, Tish. Yay. Yeah. Tish. Hey, because it was like a shift. When I was 13, it was the, the music industry has changed so much. And so I think I put out a lot of content, you know, from mixtapes to just it's a lot of in between mm-hmm. space. I feel like it's it's a gap. I feel like my fans don't, uh, or surrounding fans don't really know about. So I just want to catch them up on. My dad and my, you know, my dad and them were signing to MCA Records called Jersey Ave. Randy Jackson had signed them in like <laughs> 2000. You know really? what I mean? They were on the road. Yeah, yeah, they were on the road heavy. They were called Jersey Avenue. Where are they um, from? Jersey City? No, they were, no, no they're from uh, Indianapolis. The street was called Jersey <laughs> Ave. Uh, were they not, any good? Oh, they were, they were dope. They were <laughs> fire. They were fire. So I'm going to shine light on all that. But now they, you know, there's a lot of more brothers singing gospel music, so. It's dope. It's so you got dope. an album out this week, this Friday, and you got a... Oh, the album's out, already out. The album's out right now, mm-hmm. streaming everywhere. I'm telling you, honestly, like, this one of the best R&B albums out right now. And you're performing got, tonight, right? SOBs? SOBs. Let's get it. And you let's got, go. You got booked for... Uh, what's Tiffany's movie called coming out? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Um, Tiffany Haddish. Oh, God. What's it called? Limited, Limited Partners. Partners. There you go. Limited Partners. Yeah, I got a, I got a little small role in that. That's coming out next year, though. Next okay. year. Yeah, yeah. So, uh... I've been, I, I did a lot of filming last year. I can't wait to really, you know, see to, you know, when everything roll out. You have that time Bush to go on tour? Huh? You have time to go on tour? Honestly, between now and, and until we film the next season of The Shot, this, this, is, this is the time I'm taking out to really hit the road. And uh, usually we got our weekends off uh, while we film The Shot as well. So hopefully I'm going to try to keep my, my weekends booked up. And, and it then, boosts your music career too, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely, man. It's, uh, you know, it's, I'm an independent artist, so... It's no traditional way to really do it no more, you know. And I just, I just 
do it. I just do it. You winning, bro. You like the new Tyrese. Hey, thank you, man. Thank That's you, man. That's not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is a compliment. Yo, you, you know, always... Tyrese yo, is an actor. Yo, yo. He's a great artist. That's what That's I'm saying. Man. Big bro. Big bro. We like you. We like you. We no, like you. Absolutely, Tyrese. Man. Hey, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Jacob Lattimore Connection 2 is out right yeah. now. Available now. All right. It's, it's out the, right now. It's the Breakfast Club. It's Jacob Lattimore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 